Hey, don't go anywhere. You're probably looking at the screen right now and going, what the heck is this? This is a really short video, but all I want to get across is that when you have a shop, cart and checkout, how many fields do you really need the user or the purchaser to fill in? Now, if you're selling an item or you need address details, of course, you need the address. Otherwise, where are you going to send it? Just throw it in the air and hope it lands down on them. But if you're selling a virtual or a downloadable product, do you really need their address details? Well, this code over here, and there will be a link in the description, go ahead and copy it. And what you need to do is use the Code Snippets plugin. It is completely free. It is an amazing tool to use. It's my go-to tool, my go-to tool when I wanna put codes into my website. I don't like using child themes. I don't like messing around with JavaScript too much, but if you want a safe way to do it, go and get this plugin. Then what you do is go over and hit add new give it a name, and then what you want to do is dump in the code. So I've called it WooCommerce Checkout, and here's the code. Now, what this will do is it will unset loads of these fields. Now, in this example here, all I'm unsetting is the billing company, which is this line here, and the order comments as well. I don't need to have them. Now, you will notice I've commented out a lot of things uh, over here, like all of these, because I still want them to be visible. So this code, if you were to basically enable everything, you'll have nothing on your checkout field, which I don't think will work. So if you wanted to now say, I don't want to have, say, the phone number, what you would do is, uh, at the minute, I've commented it out here, go up over here, and I would put that in there. That now, can you see how the fields bit for that is now blue? That is now enabled. So the billing phone will now not be visible on the checkout screen. So this code will be available in the description. If there's anything you do not want to collect on your checkout, just basically activate them. And then all you've got to do down here is once you've done that, is just make sure you're running the snippet everywhere and save changes. The reason why the code snippets tool is amazing is that if there was an error in the code, you'd get a warning message via email and on screen, and it would automatically roll back to protect you. But if there's any fields you don't want to show, like address fields, here's the code you should be using. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame. No time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.